If you're looking for the best toe shoes for working out, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Vibram 5 Fingers V Train 2.0. The Vibram 5 Fingers V Train 2.0 are the best overall toe shoe for working out. They are comfortable, breathable, and have thick rubber soles that provide traction and protect the bottoms of the feet. Instead of shoelaces, these shoes have a hook and loop closure system, which makes it easy to get a snug fit on your foot. They also have a support strap that offers extra stability around the foot and ankle. I tested the V-Trains for both squats and deadlifts, and I was impressed with how well they performed. My feet felt secure the entire time, and even when I wore these shoes on a hot day, my feet stayed dry. The V-Trains run true to size, so if you're not sure what size to get, I recommend getting the same size you get in any other training shoe. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Vibram 5 Fingers KSO EVO. The Vibram 5 Fingers KSO EVO is like the younger sibling of the V-Train 2.0. They look similar, but they are not quite as sturdy and they don't have the support strap. Because the upper material and the soles are thinner, these toe shoes are a good option for athletes who want a truly barefoot feeling when they lift. Wearing them is like wearing a thick pair of socks, except they have individual toe spaces and a rubber sole, like the V-Trains. The KSO Evos have a hook and loop closure system. Because I was able to get a tight fit in these shoes, I didn't find myself missing the support strap as much as I thought I would. Due to their lighter material, they're even more breathable and flexible than the V-Trains. According to Vibram, they run small, but because of the stretchy material, I'm able to wear them in my usual size without any issues. The number 3 position is held by Witten Cross Trainer. The Witten Cross Trainer is one of the most affordable toe shoes on the market, but they are sturdy and perform well for shoe at this price point. The Witten Cross Trainer has a zero drop sole. The sole is flexible but firm, allowing your feet to move naturally but still providing a small amount of support. It's made from a combination of rubber and synthetic leather, which makes them a durable shoe for the price. The upper material is made from breathable mesh, which helps keep your feet dry and comfortable. They also come with a removable sock liner, so you can wear them without socks, but you can take the liner out if you want a flatter sole. These shoes run big, especially if you remove the sock liner. If you plan on wearing them without the sock liner, I recommend going a half size down. Next at number 4 we have Oringinner Barefoot Shoe. Because the insoles on the Oringinner Barefoot Shoe offer a small amount of arch support, they are the best option for people with flat feet. These shoes have a memory foam lining, but it's hardly noticeable. It provides enough cushioning to absorb some impact while running or jumping, but it's thin enough that it won't inhibit your ability to lift heavy. Unlike some other toe shoe models, the Oringinner Barefoot Shoe has a rubber sole that extends over the tops of the toes. This not only adds another layer of protection, but it prevents the material from ripping at the toes. The Oringinner Barefoot Shoe has a wide toe box and elastic mesh upper, so they conform to your foot and allow you to spread your toes. They also have a heel cup that keeps the foot in place as you move. The number 5 position is held by Merrill Men's Vapor Glove 4 Fitness Shoes. The Merrill Vapor Gloves aren't quite the same as toe shoes since they don't have individual slots for the toes, but they are a minimalist shoe that offers all of the same benefits. The soles are made from the same rubber material as the Vibram 5 Fingers. Whether you're squatting or deadlifting in them, your feet will remain firmly planted on the ground. You can wear them without socks, but if you live in a climate with hot, humid weather, I don't recommend it. Although they have a mesh upper, they don't feel very breathable. My feet quickly become sweaty when I wear them on hot days. The number 6 position is dominated by Zero HFS Running Shoe. Although these are called a running shoe, the Zero HFS Running Shoes are much different than the typical cushioned running sneaker. A men's size 9 weighs only 6.9s, so they are almost half the weight as a traditional running shoe. The lightweight makes them a good shoe for sprints if you like to run and incorporate speed work into your training. These shoes have a wide toe box and are designed to conform to the shape of your foot. They also have a patented field true sole that allows you to easily get feedback from the ground which makes them an excellent barefoot shoe for lifting. In total, the heel drop of these shoes is 5.5M. It's higher than most barefoot shoes, but you can remove the insole if you like a flatter sole. Finally, the number 7 position is dominated by Zero Pryo. The Pryo is Zero's first shoe that was specifically designed for all-purpose training. They had zero arch support, very little cushioning, 
in a white toe box to allow the feet to move naturally. Like the Zero HFS running shoe, the Prios have a removable tomb insole that you can take out if you want to have more connection with the ground. The Prios also feature an adjustable instep strap that offers stability without sacrificing your movement. Another benefit of these shoes is that some of the colorways look like a casual sneaker. If you want to get the benefit of a barefoot shoe outside of the gym, you can wear these shoes with jeans as well, much like people do with Converse where Vans good for both lifting and casual wear. Some reviewers have said that the Prios don't last very long and the stitching starts to unravel after just a few months. And while the shoe fits true to size for most people, there are some reports of the sizing being inconsistent. That's all for today. We upload fitness product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.